Across the top of the screen, we've got the uh, date and the day and the time. Uh, it shows that this is a Sunday. Uh, in fact, it's Easter Sunday, uh, 20th of uh, April, and it is 8.29 a.m., so it's still a little bit early in the morning. Uh, I didn't have any heat in the coach last night, uh, so uh, the interior and exterior temperature is about the same. But on the uh, left side, uh, we have exterior temperature, and it shows 40 degrees uh, and rising, and the humidity is 62%. On the right side of the screen is the indoor temperature, 41 degrees and 48% humidity. And in the center between the two is a bar graph that shows the last 12 hours of activity. Now there's three different uh, graphs that you can uh, have. You can have relative humidity, barometric pressure, or temperature. And I've got this actually set up as an auto scroll. So every few seconds it will show a different uh, graph, one of those three graphs. So as you can see here uh, changing, uh, if you look at the three icons just below the graph, one of them will have a circle and that is the actual measurement that is being shown or I should say the history that's being shown. This is also known as a uh, morning noon night uh, predictor and on the bottom uh, section of the uh, display shows uh, three different uh, icons and unfortunately uh, they all show uh, rain. Now the one out to the very left is uh, what's going to happen in the next four hours and we see partly sunny to rain. And then in the center is the, uh, the forecast for four to eight hours which shows rain and then in the right side it shows a forecast for eight to twelve hours which also shows rain. It also shows the predicted high and low temperatures for that time period. Now, one of the things that I found with these uh, weather stations is the longer this thing is in operation, the more accurate it becomes. And I've only had this thing running for a day, so whether or not we have rain this afternoon remains to be seen uh, because the weatherman says it should be 70 degrees and sunny today. So we'll see. We'll see who's right, I suppose, later on in the day. But if this is uh, not accurate, um, it's simply because it hasn't had enough time to have enough history uh, to come up with an accurate uh, forecast. We had another one of these units uh, a couple of years ago when we had a boat uh, and it was actually fairly accurate so I expect this to be as well. So anyway that's just a very short uh, rundown on uh, my Accurite uh, weather station and um, I think it will be a nice addition to the motorhome.